Gia has always picked up the pieces when Abby cracked. Let's do this, guys. This is already way longer than I would have ever taught this dance for. Do we think Abby's coming back? Why are we still doing the wrong dance? Are we going to win? Are we going to place? Yes, they don't want me. I don't even have words. I've never been this terrified. Step together. Pick yourself up. What turn did you do last week so you don't do it again this week? I did this one to slide the floor. We have, like, skirts. So with your hands on your hips, that might be cute. Oh, yeah. I have no idea how Abby's going to react over what happened last week. Our girls stepped up and choreographed their own routine, and we still won. All right, we have a group routine under the title, The End of the Road. Can we be any more obvious? I think Abby thinks we're done. I think she believes our kids are washed up. She's had our team for several years, and she's done with them. And she's bringing in these new babes and passing us out. We can do da, down, down, cross, and ground jeté or something. One, That'd be better, two, I think. Four, and then the pitch. It doesn't feel so like. I think Abby is still a little mad that we choreographed our own dance last week, considering that she just walked out of rehearsal. But to be honest, I'm really not that upset because I like having all this responsibility. And now we can do our own thing and kind of help choreograph the dance with Gianna. You do that, and then what do you do? It's interesting that Abby has made her choice about where she will spend her time. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting that our dance was end of the road this week because last week they kind of proved that they don't really need her. Maybe it is the end of the road for Abby always having to have her hand in what they're doing. Let's go from the top with the music. Degage! The supporting right leg on that seesaw. Even though it's little, stretch your foot. Kendall, you're looking at the floor on the grand jeté. I don't know if this is really the end of the road for the junior league competition team, but they're getting older and taking me for granted. After last week, I think the girls are getting a little too big for their britches. They think that getting out on stage and quote unquote choreographing the number was this big deal. But let's face it, while you dance for me and for part of this team, it's not a democracy. I'm in charge, it's my thing, and if you don't want to play my way, then this is the end of the road for you. Where this congested part happens and you guys do a road, like a spiral rotation, their heads are all like this and their bodies try to go around, it looks weird. They look like they're getting frustrated now. I shouldn't be yelling at people your age. You waste time. The piece was just fine, and of course, the day before competition, she comes in and has her claws all over it, tearing it to shreds. All right, girls, there's some really, really great stuff out there that's probably been working together for months and months and months. No excuse. Doesn't matter. The judges don't know how long you've been doing this number. So get out there, do what you were taught to do. Timing, 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 crucial. But technique, those judges are right there. I don't know why Abby is not taking the time to choreograph these teen numbers, but I do love for the second week in a row, our girls have stepped up and choreographed their own routine. I just wish Abby hadn't stuck her big fat nose in it and messed with their confidence. We're gonna kill it, you guys. I'm a little nervous because I feel that everybody put a lot of pressure on us to make this dance super good because our dance was so good last week. So if we don't do really good today, I think that everybody will be a little upset. The group dance was beautiful. I thought that they nailed it. I didn't see one person that pulled my eye in a negative way. I actually really enjoyed this group dance, and I hope that it plays as well. Our top five groups in fifth place. Entry number 60, end of the road. 
they got beat at their own game. It was because the choreography is not what you put on a stage at a dance competition. And that's where they got a little too big for their britches and they didn't remember. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I'm getting in over my head. They need to leave it in my hands. Hi, it's Abby Lee Miller. Not good, not good. I'm sitting in the back office of my studio, which is my private personal space, okay? I've had it. Five years of my life, I have made these kids stars. If you can help me, help me, yes, you can help me. Abby don't know what time class starts. Somehow we managed to get our kids up at 7 a.m., dressed, ready to go, and yet we're sent. That's crazy. Abby had a huge meltdown last week because of what's happening in her personal life. She's under a federal investigation for hiding money. She has so much going on that we can't even relate to it. I honestly wonder if she'll even be at Pyramid today. Do we think Abby's coming back? Guys, it's Maddie! Thank God Maddie is back. We have our complete ALDC team now. Well, except for Abby. All right, this is the first time we're all dancing together this year, right? Yay! The first time in forever. I don't know what's going on out there or anywhere right now, but Abby's not here today. It's Friday and our dance isn't done, so that scares me a little. So we really need to get this together today, okay? Maddie, you, you're, you're gonna be dancing on this part. We're a day away from competition. Abby isn't even here yet, and this is our first and only day for rehearsal. This is a lot of pressure to put on the girls, even if they are considered the elite. So where's Abby? We received an email that she's resigning. What? It's not looking good, you guys. She's had it. We saw her last night. She was really happy last night. Well, that could be disturbing, too, because usually when she's in a really good mood, something happens right afterwards. That's a hard thing for her to sustain being happy, and then it's a calm before the storm. Abby has been all over the place. Abby walked out of the competition last week. The other day, she refused to come out of her cave, and today, she decides she's quitting. Ever since the mini showed up, it seems like the crazy behavior is becoming a pattern. You just never know what you're going to get with her. Like, how many times has she said she's walked away and she's done? And she talks about our being committed. Right, and the not even walk, for Right, us. exactly. I know she's got issues going on, but sit us down, talk to us, tell us what your plan is, what you need from us to do. Absolutely. And we'll do it. But there's none of that. It's always like, where do we stand? What do we do today? The competition is tomorrow, and Abby has quit on this team again. Who knows how she'll feel tomorrow, but all we can do is move on with or without her. Here we are. It's competition day and Abby isn't here. I am beyond frustrated with her. Regardless of anything else that's going on, Abby here, Abby not here, you need to do this for yourselves. Abby's not here today, but she'll see every move that you make. Okay? Are you guys ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kiss, kiss, knee, knee, knock, knock. All right, love you guys. Next up, entry number 32, the elite. It's so great to be back with my team because even though I love filming movies, it's so great to just be back with the girls. Are you ready? Here we go. The overall small group category in first place, entry number 32, the elite. <laughs> Abby, you can resign 
we're fine. These girls can do anything. I'm a little cranky today, to say the least. We don't even have a teacher. Well, we have Gianna. Thank heavens for her, because we certainly don't have a leader. It's really sad, because, you know, they always say how, like, people get too big for their own britches, and she's done it. The britches might end up orange and in jail with her. Abby abandoned this team. These kids are all winners. They all have proven themselves over and over and over with Abby. But if we can find a choreographer, it'll be a whole new challenge to see if they can prove themselves without her. Do you guys want to go see the stage? Yes. Going to the stage now, what do you see? I always love to go back home and go and compete, but I have literally had no rehearsal time for my solo, and it's my first solo for the season, so kind of nervous. You have. I mean, if you do something well. Kalani was flawless, but the choreography was pretty much the same as her last solo. So I think it's anyone's ball game. Give me a hug. <laughs> All right, well, girls, get into makeup. What are you? Pig. I wonder if this was Abby's um, vision or... I look like when... a businesswoman on a Halloween party. No, the shirts were to be the corporate side of the beef industry or the chicken industry. This, to me, is starting to look like a high school talent show. And Abby's not even here to go over it with the girls, to look at the costumes for any of it. Gia has always picked up the pieces when Abby cracked. And I know she can do it, but, you know, it would be nice to have a different perspective, a different view for these kids, someone to come in with a clean slate. Guys, come over here. OK, sell the story. Because if you don't believe it, they're not going to believe it. OK, guys, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Bye-bye. Bye. All righty, at this time, we would like to welcome to the stage Food for Thought. While loving them, bloody contradiction. Say what you need, I understand you're feeding an addiction. Speaking up against the wrong, and I ain't scared of no friction. Peace is all it is, it does not have to be fiction. that was about. It's about they knew. They knew. They, knew. they figured knew. it out. I can't believe that they got it. I'm just praying that the judges did too. So the top overall high score for Soul Duo Trio goes to answer number 103, what do you see? She has a pink nose. <laughs> And then for overall high score, group lines and production, let's get another drum roll. This is not my favorite number. I love the choreography, but honestly, I think there was an opportunity to really tell a story. I don't know if it did that. I think in some ways it was too gimmicky that we missed an opportunity. And this is going to be one of those instances where the judges are like, that was too much. The overall high score for group lines and production. Goes 
to enter number 104, Food for Thought. Are we going to call in somebody else to come next week? Absolutely. We want to call Lorianne. They do think it is an opportunity to work with somebody who works in the industry, <laughs> you know? Absolutely. We're on the West Coast, and there are some groups and some teams that are coming after us. We do need a big personality who might be there at competition to take the place of Abby as well. Who wants to call Lorianne and try somebody new next week? Because we can. We have to. You have a choice. <laughs> Whatever. Are you okay, Dia? G, are you Amen. okay with, no. with Lorian coming in? It's clearly whatever you guys and they want to do, so. Guess they don't want me. Okay, here we go, from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and three. Nice! I think Megan looks just like Gianna. It's like her little Gianna. Well, not today. Gianna looks a little sad, and that girl doesn't look sad. I think as weird as this week is for the girls and for the moms, that it might be the weirdest for Gia. I feel like she's taking it really hard because she's loyal to Abby. But Lorian Gibson is a huge name. She works with the best of the best. It's an amazing opportunity. So I am a little surprised that she's not coming in and offering up some help. I still have no Eliana. I mean, like, does this kid want to be in the dance or not? Like, I don't understand what the deal is. Like, we're all doing this for her. This is I ridiculous. I know. Sarah wants to dance. You have Sarah, your... again, thank you for doing this. I mean, you're you really, have, really you taking one for the team really. here. Oh, okay. It's unbelievable, honestly. It she is just, they show up whenever unreal. they want to, and then they, I, it, it's like a whole set of, for a different set of roles. It's, I've it's never crazy. seen anything like it. But why is it allowed? I don't know. You're the only one that has the conversation with Abby that can make the change. Sarah can learn it. Right. Sarah can learn it and the change can be made with you and Abby. That's the only, I mean, I, know, I don't, I, mean, I already I asked. Honestly, it. you're teaching and you see Sarah. I mean, you're, I mean, I don't think that there's anything that Sarah can't do in this dance. That's not hard. So push back. Push back. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Yolanda scored! What do you think about the studio? We were hoping that you were We were wondering where you were. Yeah. Well, I'm here on time, girlfriend. This is crazy. Yolanda, I'm done with the night rehearsals. I got in there at 7 o'clock today. From 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. And it's about to be 7 p.m. And I'm still going. This is not what I planned. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to Gia. It is not fair to Sarah. It's not fair to the mothers. It's not like fair to anybody. I'm sure Abby will go over it with you. Are you going to be here tomorrow, or am I never going to see this dance again? Or um, who am I going to see do this dance? You'll see Eliana. Um, I also arrange when we get to Ohio. But there also is another studio. How long are these arrangements going to go on for? That I need to plan at like extra time in my week. I just need to know. Well, is that okay? No. It's Three not. strikes, you're out. Tomorrow's the third one. Um, okay, spread out, guys. You're gonna cross your arms, cross, and then flex it back, and then plie fan it around. When I look at the room, I only key in on those people that I want in the number. Who gets the style? Who gets the steps? Who knows the terminology? Those are the kids we'll keep. Everybody else, it's gonna be bye-bye. I mean, we think that we should just leave the kids as is for nationals, but it may be inevitable that we have one of these kids on our team. So I would like to know what we're getting ourselves into with these moms. This is already way, way longer than I would have ever taught this dance for. Like, we would have already been a minute through the, the choreography. And people are still not knowing the first step. So for me, that's unacceptable. OK. Some of you can't even stand on two feet. All right, you, Paris, and you, Berkeley, you all get to come back tomorrow. Well, I have good news and bad news. I'm leaving now. Right, like right now? Right now. I am going to the airport to fly to Los Angeles. What Karen said is if anybody can wake her up, it's you. She said if you just come in and start screaming and yell at her, she'll probably react. So I have to go, I have to try. I hope the parents and everyone understand. All right, I'm counting on you guys. Goodbye.
Strong, strong. All right. I see. I love you. Thank love you. I'm you. sorry. Safe. I'm positive that I'm going to go out there. I'm going to start, you know, cracking heads. Going to make some heads roll, and I'm going to start screaming, yelling, and she's going to hear my voice, and it's going to bring her to. Let me just see the dance, because yeah. yesterday we were in like kind of a crazy place with the two new kids. All right, guys, here we go. Get far enough out on the stage. All the way across, don't cut it short. OK, Paris, that's not going to happen. Two, three. Get them out, get them out. They should already be out. Why are we still doing the wrong dance? They still don't know the timing. Like, it's still off. They do a part with Giannina, and it's like three solos right now. Well, now's not the time to have any mistakes, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, Gia, what's the choreography? Can you do it with them? Upset, kickball, team. That's not together right now. Okay. Right. Oh, my god. Are we going to win? Are we going to place? I don't even have words. I've never been this terrified. We're going on stage in a few minutes. These are not problems that we should be having right now. This is where the group comes back together on this kick. It's on count eight. But I said that on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. Six, fall team. You guys are still off the timing. Your daughter's crying. I know that. I mean, everybody's jumping on her back. Of course, I would cry too. I mean, this team is a ball of pressure. This is what happens. Tell me why you upset. Because the moms keep pressuring me to do it right, but I feel like that if it just keeps calm, I can just start well, the, well, doing it right. I mean, Paris, you just go out there and you and you give your best. That's what you do. You was here. They told you to be here. They give you corrections. You take it. You go on stage and you perform it. So, William Brady, hold this down for me on the parts that you do separate. On the parts that are together, watch the people in front of you, OK? That's okay. what we're going with. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Start off with a group temporary, the chosen one. We cannot afford to lose this week, or any weeks between now and nationals. But this group dance, we've got two kids in the dance that don't know what they're doing, that were auditioning for our team, and Abby left before she even told us if they're on the team or not. Sounds like first place to me. get to me, I feel like I did my best that I could. That was definitely the best time we've ever done the dance. If Miss Abby was here, I think that she would say that I did amazing and that my timing was correct. All right, is everybody ready for awards? In our junior groups, second and first place are divided by 0.5, less than one point. Ladies and gentlemen, in second place, with a 298.2, Bad Royal Nova. And our top junior group. We got first place, even with the two new kids. Yeah. Are you so proud of yourselves? Like we were together. Yes, we were together. Hey, good job, guys. Oh, yeah. Congrats, congrats. It's been a minute since we won. So that's huge for us right now, all right? Do you guys want to call Abby? Yes. Who wants to do it? I'll be the announcer. I'll be the announcer. And you guys, student on the phone. 
Etiquette. Full voicemail? Not good etiquette, Abby. 